Hello my dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have collected 10 important questions from your chemistry which are very much important questions for your all type of competitive examinations as well as they are very much important for your higher level of study. Some questions appear in your competitive examinations, in your engineering, in your overseer, in your HA, in your all other type of examinations and some questions are important for your uh, final examination of class 11, class 12, engineering and other examinations so without any delay let us begin to our question our question number first is which of the following value of charge is not possible uh, by looking the this question and their option choice we should know some fundamental terms Coulomb is unit of charge capital Q or small q are the symbols they are used to denote the charge and charge is scalar quantity although it has magnitude and direction both it is the exception of vector quantity because it do not obey, obey the vector algebra and uh, in order to find the answer of this question number one we should learn we should know what is quantization of charge i made one separate video on quantization of charge if you see that video then you can solve this answer but i will give one hint for you in order to solve this uh, question number one you have four different value of q now in order to get the answer for this question number one divide your given q by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb if you get a whole number that charge is possible if you don't get a whole number or integer number that charge is not possible so your your clue is divide the given charge by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and get your answer if it is not a whole number not an integer number and that is that value of charge is not possible question number two what is the electron configuration of chromium see chromium and copper they do not follow the regular pattern of electron configuration because of some exception because of the uh, some exception you need to find the exception and you and and you need to find why that exists why it do not follow the regular pattern and what is the correct answer for question number two and three uh, option choice a 3d4 means it has some part before 3d4 because electronic configuration starts from 1s2 so a complete uh, part of question number a is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and then 3d4 and 4s2 now solve the question number 2 and 3 for your confusion i will be explaining in comment session and upcoming videos question number 4 what which of the following element has highest electronegativity if i say the answer of this question then it will be not clear for you for this question i will give some tax to you because your entrance examination is uh, nearby entrance examination is coming soon because of that you need to work hard on this topic see a periodic table and search and find how electronegativity increases decreases within increasing period within increasing column within increasing row how it increases how it varies and make a clear concept on this type of questions this is only a demonstration this is only a, a one a question for you uh, uh, to make you a clear concept about electronegativity if you see that a pattern if you know all the pattern of electronegativity from periodic table then you will solve this question correctly so i will not explain i will not say the answer of this question only um, because because if you see that periodic table and if you know the electronegativity then you will be learning other different type of similar questions as well question number five electron affinity of noble gas is uh, question number five the answer of for this question number five is d extremely low or almost zero but why it is zero what is the electron affinity this is also a tax for you in this question i will give different several tax don't get bored don't get like irritated because of tax because more you practice more you learn uh, more you will be able to solve in your entrance examinations so uh, question, let us move to question number six during oxidation process see in oxidation process there is loss of electron uh, in oxidation process the one or more electron are lost option choice c is the correct answer for question number six uh, the, the opposite of oxidation is reduction and you know the answer for the reduction because oxidation is lost of one or more electrons means reduction is just opposite of this now after knowing this question try to find what is oxidation what is reduction uh, and question number seven isomers have same physical properties molecular formula chemical properties and arrangement of the molecule uh, you should know what is isomer and what are their different examples isomers 
uh, have different uh, have, have the same molecular formula with different physical property with different chemical property and with different arrangement of molecule so for the question number seven correct answer choice is molecular formula now try to learn the isomers with example because this is important question for your entrance and higher level of study question number eight how many particles are there in 60 gram of calcium in fact this question is from mole concept i'll be making one separate video on mole concept uh, but uh, till uh, that period uh, let us learn what is uh, the uh, the answer for this question see the atomic mass of calcium is 40 gram if 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 we express the atomic mass of certain substance in gram then that is equal to 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 number of molecules but here calcium we have 60 gram of calcium means uh, only 40 gram of calcium is equal to 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 then use unitary method for uh, 1 gram and then find the value for 60 gram see again i am repeating uh, the uh, the calcium it has 20 proton and 20 newton so its atomic mass is 40 gram so 40 gram is equal to 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 number of molecule so 40 gram is equal to 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 number of molecule or particles now use unitary method for 1 gram and find the value for 60 gram 1 mole means 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 number of particles question number 9 what is the function of promoter in the chemical reaction to increase the rate of reaction to improve the performance of catalyst to decrease the rate of reaction all of these of course the positive catalyst increases the rate of reaction and the negative catalyst decreases the rate of reaction but the function of promoter is to improve the performance of the catalyst so for the question number nine the correct answer choice is to improve the performance of the catalyst to improve the performance of the catalyst that is the function of promoter in chemistry or promoter in chemical reaction question number 10 the shape of s orbital is we have different orbital in chemistry s orbital p orbital d orbital f orbital shape of s orbital is s per spherical yes uh, so shape of s orbital is spherical our correct action choice for this question number 10 is spherical dumbbell shape is the shape of p orbital dumbbell shape is the shape of p orbital so option choice uh, a uh, is the correct answer for question number 10 thank you very much do work uh, try to solve questions do comment uh, all the best for your entrance examinations thank you very much uh, now i'll be making video on different uh, session of uh, different segment uh, different other parts of chemistry as well as mathematics thank you very much